A question I get asked a lot is, Reyes, how do you make your designs? Reyes, how do you make your transparencies? Reyes, what program do you use? Well, I'm going to answer all those questions and more in this video. I'm going to teach you where I get my fonts and how to use them, how I trace the design the short way and the long way, how I cut out a picture, how I curve words, and how I add an outline. That's all I know at the moment, but that's enough for my business. But of course, I'm always trying to learn more techniques and as much as possible. And right here are the times you could skip to each section so you could go straight to what you want to know, all right? Just because I like you and just because I don't like wasting your time. So the program I started out with and I'm still using is CorelDRAW. In this laptop, I have CorelDRAW X4. In my other laptop, I have CorelDRAW X8. And it's pretty much all the same, you know? Maybe a few little differences, but the tools are the same and the methods are the same. So, let me start off by telling you where I got it and for how much. I actually bought the program on Amazon and it was only about $85. But, as you could tell right now, it's currently unavailable. So, let's go look up another version, Corel Draw. And what I like about Corel Draw is that you could buy old versions and it's still gonna be pretty much the same exact thing. You know, one thing you always gotta make sure is the reviews. Make sure they got great reviews. Look, I found one right here, Corel Draw 2017 Education Edition. Meaning, it's like the student version, meaning you can't use this program for commercial use. It's still the same exact program, but this is just a student version, so you can learn. Not for commercial use. Alright? Now, let's go look at the reviews. Always read the reviews. If I was to buy CorelDRAW again, I would get this one. You know, it's a little pricey. One of them, this one's 74 plus 4, 80 dollars. But here's the thing, this guy only has 10 total ratings. 143, 92 positive review, over 1200 reviews. Ah, I might buy that one. Now, you could always go to CorelDraw.com. A full 15-day trial, no credit card required. And then, uh, if you want to buy it, go ahead. So, you just got to do your little research, and you are going to have to invest a little bit of money. But, once you invest that initial money, it's well worth it, man. And it's really convenient, because I'm about to show you how to use it. So... We're going to start out with fonts. You go to the A, type in uh, Reyes the Entrepreneur. Uh-huh. And then manipulate it. There you go. And let's look at the fonts. All right. You know, there you go. This one right here. Reyes Entrepreneur. Let's, let's look at another font. Capture it. I like this font right here. Let me see. So, you have all your fonts right here. And you might be asking, Reyes, where do you get your fonts from? And there's plenty of websites, but I'm going to show you the one I always go to. So, we're going to go to thefont.com. There's other websites. Hey, if you use a different website, put it in the comment below so the people know where to get fonts. Reyes, the entrepreneur. We're going to put... So they could show a hundred fonts and submit. And now we get a little preview of how it's going to look. And I re highly recommend you go through all the themes. You know, fancy, foreign look, technology, gothic. Because you're going to have customers that have a specific font. And the more you're familiar with this website, the easier you're going to find the fonts. Alright, you got your graffiti look over here. You know, Let's check out graffiti, see how graffiti looks. You know, get familiar with the website. Get familiar with the fonts. Raise the entrepreneur. Raise the entrepreneur. You know what? I'm going to do this one right here. You always have to check if it's free to use or if you got to pay 
the create or something. See right here it says, contact me for commercial use. Meaning, if you want to make money off this font, you have to pay the creator. But, it's free. All the fonts right here are free for personal use only. Man, there's something going on with my eye. Alright. So, we're going to click download. So, this is what I'm going to do. Now, go to desktop. No, go to downloads. And, what was it called? One Piece Hunt. Right here, look. Boop, boop. Let me see. Application not found because it's a zip file. That means you need another program to open it. I know, I know. They make this stuff so confusing. So what I do is I go to downloads.com. Download.com, download.cnet.com. And you're gonna go to something called zip reader. And I got this one right here. It's right here. Edit this edition, three stars, but user rating, 4.5. That's good enough for me, man. That's good enough for me. You just got to download it right here. Select files to extract. And then you're going to go to download, and you got to go find the font, which is, what was it again? One piece. Right here. One piece. Okay, you took out three files. Open it and bam, there you go. Open true type file. I'm gonna get this one, copy it, and then I'm gonna open up my fonts. Control panel, right here, we're gonna type in fonts, right here. There you go, here are all my fonts. So I just click right here and paste. All right, it's installing fonts, and there you go. So now let's go to Corel Draw, go to the font section, look up one piece, and if you don't see it right away, just restart your program. One piece right here, boom. And there you go, that's how you get fonts. Now, we gotta convert this into outlines, a vector. Right now, it's still a font, so I could change it however I want. But I right click, right here, and right click, convert to curve, and there you go. Now it's not a font. And then over here, take out the inside. Right click for the outline. And there you go. And there you go. Most fonts, most fonts are ready to go. Just do that. So what I would do is I would go to File, Publish to PDF, Desktop. I don't know. You save it wherever you want. I put Reyes, the Entrepreneur. Graffiti, and boom, there you go. And then you just open up your cutting software and import it, and that's it. That's how you gotta do. But here's the problem though. You see this right here? If you zoom in, you see it overlaps right here, the E and the Y. If you plan on cutting this in the vinyl cutter, it's gonna cut this line right here, and it's gonna be noticeable on your design. As well over here, look. Look at this Y right here. See how it goes like that? It's gonna it's gonna cut the vinyl. It's gonna follow the lines. And it's gonna be noticeable on the shirt. So what I do is, I make a box around it. Then I lock it. Let's zoom in. And see how the H overlaps on the E? And what's gonna be noticeable on the T-shirt. So what I do is this. And then I paint the outside. And then I also paint the inside, see like this right here, that will be cut out. You know, you just gotta learn how designs work. And then I, I uh, click the whole thing, and I drag it to the side, and I take out the color, and it's all together, so I right click. And I did the paint tool, it's all together. See? Except this little piece right here, so Control Z to go back, I click on the box, right click, break curves apart, and now everything's broken apart. So there you go. And then look, see the H right here? It doesn't overlap anymore. But right here, I'm missing this little thing right here. So what I could do is, since I locked it, right click, unlock, and then make a copy. And see how it's not letting me? Cause you just gotta zoom in, homie. That's all you gotta do. And then, 
So there's ways around things. You just gotta find it. Yeah. And you might be thinking, Reyes, it hit over a right here. Look at that. Well, I'm gonna show you this in a second. But you see those dots right there? They're called nodes. And nodes, you can move however you want. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just go, poop, And there you go. It's not overlapping anymore. You know, so and let me move this side right here so it could be even. Boop, there you go. You know, you could change the design however you want. But, look, see? Now there's an overlap, which was what I wanted to show you. And then, arrange, unlock all objects, and delete. And there you go. Ready to go. So you will go again, file, publish to PDF, and then save it wherever you need to save it. That's fonts. And of course, you know, it's your design. I'm gonna select the node tool right here, the shape tool, and I could move anything I want. See, boop. But I'll show you that in the design process. That's how you get fonts, and that's how you make them one piece without overlapping, all right? Let's go to the next thing. So I'm gonna show you how to trace the design now. I'm gonna show you the short way, and the long way, and the benefits, of both. So right here we have a crown. Now, I just want the crown. I don't want these words at the bottom. So I draw a square around the crown. Then I highlight everything. And then I go to this tool right here, intersect. Meaning it's just gonna cut out whatever I have around the square. There you go. And now, see? Simple as that. So now I take out the square, and I have the crown, and here's a short way of tracing. You go to trace bitmap, outline trace, line art. And you know, you gotta play around with it, all right? Get familiar with it. Mm-hmm, and there you go. See how it has five colors, but I only want two. So, I'm gonna go to color mode, black and white. And there you go, done. I don't know if you could tell, Look at that, it's, it's looking pretty rough, man. So, what I do is, corner smoother and smoothing. You know, play around those settings. See how it changed the, see how it changed right there? And then you just gotta play around with it, man. All right, it doesn't gotta be perfect, it has to be pretty good. Look, it's still a little bit rough, but I'll show you how to fix it. So right here we have the trace bitmap and the original picture. So, I'ma take out the color. I click on the X. And then, there you go. And now, remember, see how it's all together? You're gonna right click, ungroup all. It's either break curves apart or ungroup all. You know, you just gotta figure it out. It's not that hard. And now, since I ungrouped it, boop. Now we're gonna delete this. And, now it's a vector. And now we go to the shape tool. Let me highlight this. You know the shape tool? helps you modify it. See the nodes? If I double click a node, it's gonzos. If I double click on the line, boom, there's a node. And look, you play around with it. So let's make this into a circle. And of course, you're gonna have to get experience. Look, like this node right there, right? See how I move it with the arrow? I can move it however I want. All right, and I know I'm going kind of fast, but hey, I learned all of this through YouTube. So, I don't know. Look up on YouTube how to vector design. And there's gonna be a lot of videos that go into full detail. Now let's just say, ah, oh, Reyes, you know, I, I, I need the original outline. I don't know how to, I don't know how this should go, this and that. Hold on, homie, I'll teach you, right? So you go to the original picture. Okay, so there, transparency, click on the design, linear art, and uniform. See how it makes it a little bit lighter? And then you lock it. Right click, lock. Then you highlight the whole design and you drag it over here. You know, and then zoom in. Zoom in. There we go, see how it's right over it? And now, I just follow the design. I take this note out, you know, do this, do curve it. Let's check this out, like right here, look. See this right here? So I need to create two nodes, that one right there. Let's see, this one right here, uh-huh. And then this one is already one right here. Curve this line a little bit more. 
or you know, curve this line a little bit more. See, look. Sometimes when you move one line, sometimes when you move one arrow, it moves the other arrow. It's because you need to right click and you gotta go to cusp, meaning that you can only move one arrow at a time. So cusp, and now, see, I can move this one, and then let's move this one right here. Uh huh. Something like that. Look, I'm gonna put a note right there, and then there we go. See? Pew. Let's check this. Uh -huh. And then you just do that whole process. See, like right here, look. So I click on this node, and the arrow is, there we go. See, here it is. And then that, and then make this one right here. Let's go like that. And there you go. Beautiful. And then you would just do that whole thing. And once you're done, highlight it, move it to the side. This right here, you need this out. Right click, unlock object, delete it, and there you go. You know, file, publish to PDF, and then just upload it into the cutting software, and that's where you make it bigger, smaller. Now, let me show you the long way. All right, so sometimes when you trace a bitmap, it doesn't come out good. And actually, it would be better if you just trace it manually. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. You, you have your image, you go to right here. See, it says Interaction Transparency Tool. I click on it, I click on the image, none. Uniform makes it lighter. The reason why it makes it lighter, and then lock it. The reason why it's better to have it lighter, because when you start tracing, you can actually see the lines. And then I go right here, look my pen tool, all right? Because we're gonna start tracing. And this lets me create nodes. Don't worry about being perfect right now. Just do as much as you can. You know, it doesn't gotta be perfect because we're still gonna modify it a lot. Just make sure to trace it. And I'm going pretty fast right now. The bottom part, this is pretty easy. Look, cause look, I just created a square. You know, I made a little square and then I could modify it, there we go, and then right click, convert to curves, and look, I'm going to highlight all of these, and move them, oh, you could select a lot of nodes at once, so, now let's get back to the crown, right now, all the nodes, all the lines, they're straight lines, so, I'm going to go over here to select all nodes, and convert lines to curve, meaning now, I could curve the nodes. Uh-huh, look at that, so beautiful. So easy. Some designs are gonna take you way longer than others, you know, but the more practice you get, the quicker you'll be able to do more designs. See, like this one right here? What I would do is I was, see, I gotta move this one right here. There we go. And now I use the arrows. Uh-huh, beautiful. There we go. And now the circle, let's try the circle. So we'll click on the node. Try making it a full circle. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let me see. Let me see how it comes out. Like that. Uh-huh. You know what? Look, it came out pretty good. Oh, look. See, these are uneven right here. There we go. But look at that. You know, you, know, you just got to play around with it. What do you guys think? I don't know. There's a little point right here. So what I do is I create this node. And I create this node. And then I take out the middle, and it curves it automatically. That looks pretty good, eh? That looks pretty good. So, I would do that, the whole process, like that. And then, let me see, get the arrows. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pretty close. You know, you gotta play around with the circles, the shape tools. There's a lot to learn. So that's why I'm teaching you the basics. To get started but go on YouTube and learn as much as possible all right the more you know the better you'll get now let's say you want to make into a transparencies I'm gonna show you my getaway of doing it all right so I have the crown ready to go what I would do is I would color it black and then I would change the size how big do I want it I want it 11 inches all right there we go now this right here, this rectangle, is the size of a paper. 
So what I would do is I would change this 90 degrees, see if it fits. You know, so I would probably change it to 10.5 and there you go. It has to be black. See how it fits inside the square? And then I, I will go to file, PDF, save it, you know, crown, transparencies, and then that's it. And then what I would do is I would save it into a USB drive, take it to my local print shop and tell, tell them, hey, can you print this in a transparency? And they do. And it costs about $2 per transparencies. So look at that, see? One sheet of paper. Boop, boop. Now, you might be asking Reyes, what if the design I want is way bigger? You're like, dang, it doesn't fit. Homie, relax. There's always a way around everything, all right? So what I would do is I would rotate it again, and I would do halvers. See, I would do this half, and this paper right here, print it, you know, save as a PDF, and then I will print this side, like that. And then that's it. And then I will get two sheets, two halves. And then what I would do, and then I make it overlap a little bit. And then what I would do, I don't know if you could tell, look, see like what I did right here? See this one right here, it stops right there, but I print the other half. And there you go. And then you just got to tape it. Clear tape. So it doesn't mess up when you're burning your screen. And that's it. That's my way around it. That's my getaway around it. Alright. I'm not saying it's the best way. But hey, I don't want to invest in a printer, in inks, in transparency sheets. So, and believe it or not, I don't have a, I don't get a lot of screen printing jobs. So, this is the most effective way for me, right? So, you go to, UP, go to your UPS store, your office mats, and see how big they could print transparency. And that's it, homie. That's it. What else am I going to show you? I'm going to give you a tip real quick. Let's say you're looking for a specific design. Let's say you're looking for a crown. I don't know, eh? I just, I'm just filling crowns right now. So, you go to crown, and you type in SVG. All right, Crown SVG. As far as I know, SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. Or it might mean something else. So, let's try to see if I can find another one. Let me see this one right here. Save picture, Crown 3. And let's see if this one's it. Import right here. Uh-huh, let's delete this one, and then, let me see. Look, take out the color. Oh, yeah, that one was already ready. See, so sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes, if you type in something SVG, and you look for a black design with white and gray squares in the back, more than likely, it's already vector, man. So there you go, like this one right here, it's already vector. So I will save it. Or I will make it into the transparencies, and there you go. That's a tip right there. That's a free 99 tip right there. Don't tell anybody. All right, but of course, disclaimer, everything you find on Google is for personal use only. Most of the time, it's already copyrighted by somebody else, so you can't make money off it. I'm only showing you at samples, all right? So once again, it's only for personal use only. So, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to cut out a picture. Alright? Let me see. Let me go look for a picture. Let me use me as an example. Me. We'll do this one right here. Damn, I look handsome. So, I have a picture, but I only want me. I don't want the whole background. So, what I would do is, again, transparencies. Click on it. None. Uniform makes it lighter. Right click, lock it. And then we're gonna do that exact same thing. Get the pen tool and start tracing. So here we go. Boom, 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 boom. It's gonna be choppy, all right? Because I'm trying to go as fast as possible. But you get the idea, bro, right? Da. And then you go to shape tool, 
select all nodes and make them curve and now we're gonna curve it Boop. uh-huh I'm gonna give myself some big old biceps and you know what just cuz I like you we're gonna do the inside of the arms so this one right here boom boom see how it does that look see what do you do you select this node right click cusp now you only get to move one side we go so I will do that so now look if you have more than one line you have to highlight and combine this whole line so look see it's like that see it's like that how do you and then control Z there you go so now and then you unlock it the picture you highlight everything and you click intersect and there you go now delete the background boom you might be asking Riz, how do I take it how, how do I make it darker again so you just move this to the side you can move this to the side or you could go right click order back up page and he moved whatever was in front to the back of the page so now this picture is the, the one in the front and then you just go to transparencies uniform and you go back to none boom there you go now let's say you wanted to add some words to this look at that guy handsome right so there's two ways of doing curves one way is the circle right here uh-huh let's, let's just say it like this all right let's move it forward and then like that and then you click your font and you go see how it has the a with the squiggly line that's what you want homie ray is the entrepreneur and of course you will highlight it and then pick your font but i'm just gonna keep it simple all right because my computer's slow and then you manipulate it see like that Move it to the side. You can even move it up, down. You can even stretch it. Right? Let's say like that. That's how I want it. Then you're gonna have to break it apart because look, I click on the circle, boom, it moves the words. I move I click on the words, it moves the circle. So what do you do? You right click, convert to curves, and then you click on it and you convert to curves. You gotta convert both to curves. And there you go. Boop. Delete that. Ray is the entrepreneur. Now let me show you another way. And then you go to your, right here, you click on the little triangle at the bottom, and you go to envelope. You go to envelope. This is the envelope tool, look. Interaction envelope tool, right? And now, you could do this. See how I'm doing that? Like that, something like that. But I delete this node, this node, and I go like that, and then like that, something like that. You know, I delete these nodes. You gotta play around with it, homie. And then I click on this, cause so I can make it more curve. Mhm. Mm and then this one right here. Uh huh. You know, so you gotta see what method you like, see what works best for you. So now, let's say you want to add an outline to something. All right, so let's say this. I wanna add an outline, I wanna make it look like this. So what I would do is I would right click and copy, and right click and paste. So now I have two identical. Then I will go to this one. I will go to the outline tool, and then I can mess around with it, you know, see how it went bigger, 24, this and that, I don't know. But then I'm going to change the color, see, like that. And then I will click on the color, let's say I want it red. Click red and the outline, and then, look, if you left click on the color, it's going to do the inside. If you right click on the color, it's going to do the outside. You got it? I want it yellow. There we go. See? The outline. But here's the thing. This font, convert to curve. There you go. It's already an outline. There you go. But what about this? See? It's, it's not an outline. Now it won't do nothing. See? It's not ready. It won't cut. Because see, see how I'm, I'm dragging it? And you can see the outline of the original Reyes? That's what's going to cut. 
So let's do this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a square around it like that. And I'm actually gonna make it into a bitmap right here. Bitmap on top, convert to bitmap. Uh huh. And now it's a picture. And then I will go to trace bitmap, line, and there you go. You know, it's already one color, which is great. Let me zoom in. It's looking pretty good, pretty clean. All right, you just press OK, and there you go. You move it, right? And there you go. Take out the color, just the outline. But look, it has a square. So remember, you gotta ungroup it. And there you go. Boop. And now it's an outline. So now it's red to be vector. See, I'm gonna change the color for this. Uh huh. And then I'm gonna do this one right here. Uh huh. Why? Where is it at though? See? So you go to right click, order, front of page. And there you go. See, you gotta play around with it. See? And then if you zoom in, you'll be able to move it a little bit more. There we go. Now, let's just say you made this into the picture. Now, let's say the picture, you bitmapped it and it didn't come out right. Well, then you just got to trace it manually. You go again to transparency tool. Click on it. None. Uniform. Lock it. And now you trace it. All right. Manually. Pew, 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 pew. You get the idea. I just show you that with the crown. All right, Those, of course that's easy designs. Some designs are gonna take way longer than others. Some are gonna need a little bit more different techniques. But this is the basics. This is all I know right now, homie. And there you go. Outline, vector. And then you will go to file, and then PDF, and then save it wherever you need to save it. And that's it. Any questions? I mean, I don't know what else to tell you guys. That's all I know right now. Okay, let me show you another quick example. This is the Cali Stack shirt I made. If you want to see that video, you can click right here. But uh, look, see? Like that. I'm going to put it right here. Uh-huh. But here's the thing. It blends. I need to add an outline to it. So I will copy it, and then I will put an outline, an outline on it. Let's say 8... Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, and then right-click paste over it and then make it white. See, but where is it at? Sometimes when you paste, the, the whatever you paste it goes in the back of the files, of the order. So right-click, move it to the front of the page, and there you go. All right. And then let me see, click on this. You know, if I click on the black part, it moves the black part. I could make it bigger. Let's make it way bigger. There we go. Nah, let's make it smaller. Like that. You know, you can mess around with it. You just got to mess around with it, man. You just need experience. That's it. Just play with it. You might be thinking, all right, Reyes, but we got to make it into a vector. So what I do is I make a square around it. Make the square black. See, there you go. That's it, and then I make a copy of it. And now, I make it into a bitmap. Convert to bitmap, trace bitmap, line art, and of course you could go to high quality. Like look, you could go to logo, detail logo, clip art. Just play around with it, man. It doesn't hurt. And there you go. How many colors is it, two colors? Uh-huh, let me zoom in. You know, it's a little choppy. It's all right. Not bad. I'm going to make it just a little bit smoother with the corners. See how I did that? Mm-hmm. Pretty clean. Okay. So now, I drag it over here. And what I could do, if it's just one color design, I could click highlight everything, take out the color, and only do the outline. But the problem with that is that there's two colors, black and white. So you're going to have a double outline. What I mean by this is watch. Ungroup all. And then look. So I ungroup all. Because look. Right here is a double outline. And if there's a double outline. The machine's going to go over the line twice. And if it does that. 
you might go straight through the vinyl, man, and create a lot of problems. So instead of doing that, let me control Z, look like that. Instead of doing that, I'm going to highlight everything and lock it. And since I only want the white part, I'm going to go to my bucket tool and color the white parts. And now I click on just the white, and I click on just what I colored, move it to the side, and then boom, there you go. Single outline, only the white part. And of course, you know, if something's messed up, like look right here. See this node right here, I could take it out so it could become smoother. This right here, look, I don't like that, so I'm node right here, node right here, node right here, and then boop, it becomes smooth. You just gotta play with it, man. Get some experience going, all right? And then look, you could break apart and like see. If you colored it, it's because everything's broken apart. You could go over here to combine, and it combines it, and there you go. And let's just say I wanted to make this into a transparency. Let's try uh, 13 inches. There we go. So I will break it down, and I will cut it into pieces, pages. See, I will do this one right here, and then I will move it right here. Boom, and then I would do the bottom. And it will come out like this. And here you go. Here's the actual transparent. I, I didn't include the bird, but here you go. And then the shirts came out great. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully I was able to teach you something. Hopefully you learned something. And of course, I'm always trying to give you that free 99 knowledge. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe because more are coming. Um, make sure to comment if you have any questions. Maybe I can make a part two if I know how to do what you're asking. How's your business going? Do you plan on starting it? Have you already started? Are you already having success? Where are you at in your business? I would love to know because I'll be able to make videos based on where you're at with your business. And of course, if you want to get any equipment I have, Link in the description below. Make sure to check out my other videos because you're going to learn a lot. I'll see you in my next video.